Hi Pisces! Welcome to Terribly Accurate. This is your general reading for October 15th through November 15th. So this would be anyone, Pisces Sun, Moon, or Rising. So the intention of this reading is to kind of um, pick up on all of the things that are going to be going on over this time period and then help you to make the better choices in regards to what's going on so that you can live your happiest, best, most divinely guided life. Okay, so um, that being said, some things, because it's a general reading for a lot of people, some things are going to resonate for you, some things are not. Now, um, that means that if certain things don't resonate, you might want to go check your moon sign or your rising sign. Also, if you're watching this right when it comes out, you might want to watch it again in a couple of weeks just to see if maybe some of the things that didn't resonate all of a sudden now do because they hadn't happened yet, right? Or maybe I'm just not the reader for you. Maybe you'll click with somebody else a little bit better. There's lots of really great readers on YouTube. Um, but if you do click with me, please like the videos, um, share them with your friends, Subscribe so that you're alerted to when the new ones come out. I would really appreciate that. Um, and for those of you who have, thank you so much. That's the reason why I continue to do these. If there wasn't value in them, if um, you didn't express that to me, I wouldn't do them, right? What would be the point? So, um, also, another good reason to do that is because in a month from now, sometime like mid-November, I'm going to be making an announcement about a really cool project we're doing that you might want to get involved in and it can make you famous. So um, something to look forward to. I really appreciate all your support. And so we'll just go ahead and get started with your reading. Now this month, we are covering the topics of family life, home life, your friendships, work, money, which are sometimes related, sometimes not, um, your health, and then also your love life. So whether you're single or coupled, okay, both will be touched on. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll do the um, love reading specifically one more time. Okay, so we're doing it a little bit different though in that we are um, selecting a card for the general theme this month. And whoa, you have two just flipped right over. <laughs> okay, so the first one is relationships. And it says, I'm attracted to those people who serve my highest good. So we only want to form relationships with people who are good for us, right? Who put us on the best path. We don't want to be in relationships with people who drag us down, who make us feel bad about ourselves, that um, would pressure us into making bad decisions, that sort of a thing. We have surrender. And it says, I release my need to control. So this is your need to control other people, to control outcomes of situations, because ultimately, this is what happens. The reason why a lot of us are unhappy with the way that things are going in our life is that need to control. We think that we can control situations and people in order to meet our own needs, right? But once we let go of that idea that we have some sort of semblance of control over things that um, we are not personally doing, our way of thinking or our actions that we take, then we're going to be much happier, right? We constantly worry about things that are totally not in our control and then we get disappointed and we get depressed about these things. But why? It's a total waste of energy, isn't it? Okay? So those are the things you want to remember as we progress through the reading and as you go through this month. Okay, now let's go ahead and get started. Um, what is going on for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising in regards to your family? Now this could be your actual family or um, just, you know, people you consider to be like family, people that are close to you in your life. What can we expect? It says the High Priestess. Okay, so remember how we were talking about relationships. And having people in our life that support us, um, like, and kind of take us towards our higher good, you know, with this purple color here, which is our intuition, our natural intuition, like our divine guidance. This is surrounding ourselves with people like that, connecting to source, to God, Allah, angels, spirit guides, that sort of a thing. Okay, this is um, really asking for those kind of people to come into our life and thanking um Thanking the divine for um, the people that are in our lives that do this, that support us, that um, are good for us, that help us to walk a more spiritually, divinely guided path, okay? So ultimately, this is saying connect to the divine, 
to realize what kind of people in your life, in your family that are really, really close to you should be there. Now it doesn't, like maybe your spouse or your mother or your mother-in-law are really negative people and you're just like, gosh, I can't cut you out of my life, but um, this is really bad. You can choose to spend less time with them. You can choose to not allow what they say and what they do affect you. You can't, you can't control what they're going to do anyway, right? So you can give them guidance. You can give them advice, but ultimately you can't change them. So you, that, that's what these two cards are saying, okay? Now, what else in regards to our family? Five of Wands. So this is an interesting dynamic, and I see this a lot in families and in workplaces. Now what this one is saying is that everybody wants the same thing. Everybody wants happiness. Everyone wants joy. Everybody wants um, stability and peace and harmony, right? However, they all have different ideas of what that looks like and how to get there. So it's okay to try other people's ways, other people's methods, right, and see if those work. Because ultimately, you all want the same thing. Now, this could be very important when it comes to child raising. And um, so a good example of this would be maybe you don't believe in spanking and you think it's a horrible idea and um, that it shouldn't happen at all and, like, you're totally inflexible on that, right? And then maybe your partner's like, no, that's the way I was raised. It was fine. Like, this is how you teach your children. End of the day... What you both want is for your children to behave, right? And I'm not saying go ahead and start spanking your kids, listen to your partner. But what I am saying is try to see other perspectives, right? And focus on the fact that you both want the same thing so that you can come to a compromise. It's not who's right, who's wrong, right? You'll have your opinions on who is right and who is wrong, and obviously you're going to think you're the most right. <laughs> and I'm not saying you're not. And I'm not saying that they're not. But what I am saying is that the bigger um, point is that you both want the same thing. So focus on that and come to a compromise. Okay? Now, um, what's going on in your home life? Now, this could be your physical home or it could be the people within your home. Let's see what we have for October 15th through November 15th for Pisces. You need to get more sleep. You need to get more rest. That will make you stronger. It's saying that perhaps there are some struggles, like you feel like the worst of things are not behind you, like you just, like you're defending yourself, like you're getting ready for the next shoe to drop, like for the next challenge to come, but you're not going to be capable to get through it if you're not getting enough rest. And maybe you're making mountains out of molehills, okay? Like, for example, if the dishwasher breaks, that sucks right? But if you're not sleeping enough, it's going to suck even more because you're going to totally fly off the deep end. You're going to be this lion and you're going to be roaring. You're like, ah, I need the freaking dishwasher fixed. And, you know, if you're well rested, you just be like, wow, that sucks. Let's call a plumber. See what I mean? Okay. What else in regards to your home life? Oh, interesting. We've got the lovers. <laughs> We had it this way, and then it flipped over this way. So if you live with your partner, if you live with your spouse, if you're spending a lot of time at your home um, with somebody, it could be going back and forth where you're having um, lots and lots of passion and drive, and then not so much, and then you are. feels totally bipolar this month. Um, and it's saying that this is not because of lack of love or passion. It's about trying to set things up for um, stability, for goals, work stuff. It's all those outside material kind of things, okay? So don't take it personal, if that's you. What's going on in regards to your friendships this month? Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Oh, awesome. Your friends are really admiring you. They're just like, wow, you're really fun. You're really cool. I really enjoy your company. That's fantastic. And so you're also making new friends. Your um, friendships are kind of going to the next level. Your bonds are deepening. You're having a lot of fun. You might be going out a lot. And that's totally fine. This is a really good month for that, actually. And um, 
this is a really good month to appreciate your friends because they, whether they're expressing it to you or not, whether they're saying, hey, I really think you're great. I think you're super fun. They're thinking it. So just appreciate them. Just say, look, I really appreciate your friendship. I really love you. I'm really glad that you are a part of my life. This is a really wonderful time to do that um, because your friendships are just going to like blossom and grow and move to the next level. It's a really great month to also make new friends as well. What's going on in regards to your health? Changes for the better. How wonderful. And now this could also be through um, the help of another person as well. Somebody could inspire you. Um, this is, this is going to come out a couple different ways. For some of you, this could be like a personal trainer. This could be one of those work from home deals like um, vitamins or nutrition plans or those um, wrap things or whatever. Um, creating friendships and bonds and things through that from becoming a part of something. But your health is definitely changing for the better. Um, for some of you though, your health is changing for the better because of your spiritual practices, because of um, your ability to connect to the divine, your ability to reshape your thoughts and be more optimistic and positive. Um, it's, I feel like a lot of you, it's not like you're working harder on your health, but things, you're just in a better emotional and mental place this month, if you choose to be, right? If you're going to connect to God, Allah, spirit guides, angels, that sort of a thing. And then those things just naturally flow into your life. How great is that? Um, but, you know, as we were talking about before, relationships are a big part of this. And the reason why I say that is because of that Wheel of Fortune card we had with the two birds coming together. So other people are going to help you to reach like a better, healthier state of being. And that could be emotional health. It could be physical health. It could be both. Okay. Mental health. <laughs> now what's going on in regards to your work life this month, Pisces, sun, moon, and rising? We have seven of wands. All right. So some of you are kind of coming to this place. Um, who just had this? I don't remember if this was... Virgo or Scorpio? I feel like it might have been Scorpio. So another water sign. Um, where you're starting to think about maybe leaving a job. Okay? Where um, there are just some things that are not working for you within the context of where you are. Now, it's saying that it might do you some good to travel. Okay? To think about connections that you've made to other people, to other places, and um, that could be a good area of growth for you career-wise, okay? That the benefits of that could be huge. It's saying that maybe where you're at right now, things are not out of balance, the, or things are out of balance, like the give and take is not equal. Like maybe you're putting more work in than you feel like you're getting paid for. So this is a good time to start looking for a new job, to take a new job, because it would be very fruitful. It would pay off. Um, it'd be more lucrative. And But it's one of those things, though, like you might find the right job, but it would take some time to actually get it. Or it would be one of those jobs where it's like commission-based. So you would um, put the work in and then you'd have to wait a little bit of time for those to kick in and come through financially, however they would, and they would come back to you larger than you expected. So if you're looking at that, that's something really great for you this month. Now, you do have a number message that I want to give you here. Let me just pull it up. Um, you actually have two of them. And so it's saying uh, that the Ascended Masters, particularly the female type of energies, are um, assisting you in staying positive in this regard, in, in regard to your work life and what is to come and what your opportunities are. And then your other message with this is saying that um, you really need to look past the material and look past, you know, like the earthly type of energies and illusions, you know, and just um, see that where you are right now and that the people that you are surrounding yourself with are actually here at the perfect time, in the perfect moment. And once you can see that perfection within yourself and within other people, um, 
this is going to manifest really well for you in work, in your relationships. And these could be your work relationships, could be your um, romantic relationships, or romantic, the relationships with your family, with your health, with all areas of your life. So it feels like this month you could have some sort of a work shift, some sort of a work thing that really puts you on a new path that is so much better for you, where maybe your work-life balance comes back into play a little bit better because perhaps you're just working way too hard. And I would say that just because of the um, previous card we had, with the six, where things are kind of out of whack, okay? Now, what's going on in regards to your money? Because sometimes money and career are linked in reading. Sometimes they're completely separate entities. Let's see, for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Now, I'm feeling a very um, strong tingle at this moment. Everybody reads cards differently. I read intuitively, so um, I get all sorts of different messages, different ways. Uh, but this is going to be a powerful message for one of you, at least. Um... You might be feeling weak in regards to money, like you're like you're just not able to make the right decisions in regards to money. Like no matter how you try, you're just not thinking things through. You're not thinking about them clearly. Um, but it's saying like your emotional relationship with your finances is fucked up, right? You need to take a new emotional approach to the way that you see money, to the way that you deal with money, and use the law of attraction in regards to that. Um, keep your thoughts positive because the negative feelings that you have associated to money are what's creating this lack. The more that you focus on the money that you don't have, the less money you're going to have, right? Sorry, I didn't mean to shout. That was really weird. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> um, so it's saying, you know, um, to associate money as a good thing, as a blessing, as something that makes you happy so that more of it just flows into your life naturally, okay? So when you're having to spend it on things, like for example, nobody likes to pay bills. It totally sucks. But every time that you do, say, gosh, I feel good that that's candled. Or um, I heard somebody once say that every time you hand somebody money, to sit just in your mind go, there's more where that came from, and then there shall be, right? I know it sounds silly. But if you believe it, it will come true. That's the law of attraction. That's how it works. Um, what's that song? I have that Cinderella song. A dream is a wish your heart makes. Yeah. So anyway, believe it. Believe it wholeheartedly and just for this month and see what happens. Okay. What's going on in your love life, Pisces? For those of you who are single, um, anxiety, worry about walking away from somebody who's not right for you, somebody that maybe you started to date, there's things you like about them, but there's a couple real big uh, red flags, like two of them, two things that you're like, I don't know, I don't know, but I know I don't want to be alone, time, you really should, you don't need that drama, you don't need that worry, what else, for those of you that that's not applicable to, that's maybe a couple of you, um, relationships, this is a reminder that relationships don't, I mean, they're work, right? They're always work, but they don't need to be that hard of work. Like you don't need to be bending over backwards and stuff to make a relationship work. Like sometimes you just have to call it. You just have to be like, enough. Um, excuse me, sorry. Some of you are not seeing romantic, um, potential in other people or, um, picking up on the messages that they're trying to give you, like, Maybe somebody's really shy, and so their flirt is not uh, real strong. Like, they're not real good at flirting and showing you that they're interested, but they totally are, so open your eyes to that. Um, and some of you, though, this is a particular issue. It's not that you don't see it. It's that maybe you don't think that they're genuine, that you don't think that they would be into someone like you, like you're suspicious, like you think... When they flirt with you like that, like, because they're a very smooth talker, like, they know everything to say, that they probably talk to everybody that way. And is it possible? Yeah. But is it also possible that you're so freaking amazing that you blow their mind and that they want to be with you? Absolutely. It totally is. Um, but what it's saying is, like, for the majority of you, you're kind of in this mindset where you're thinking about long term. Okay, what is the kind of person that I want to be with long term instead of short term? And looking at people's potential uh, right now is going to be important for you in deciding, do I want to move forward and start a relationship with this person? Now, your challenge 
is to not focus on the material aspects of things. I'm not saying she's a gold digger. Nothing like that. But what I am saying is that, um, so like if somebody doesn't make a good amount of money or something like that, um, it's not a reason to discount them because financial situations and things like that can totally change overnight. But um, looking at their morals, at their integrity, at their values, what's important to them, are you compatible over the long term that way? Um, are you a cat lover and they're allergic? Right? <laughs> Okay, for those of you who are coupled, what can we expect for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising, October 15th through November 15th? Oh, relationship moving to the next level. If you're already married, it's just moving to new heights, to doing exciting things together, all of your hopes, wishes, dreams coming true, but figuring out exactly what that looks like for each of you and then harnessing that so that you're on the same page because you both want to move forward you both want to have your relationship be wonderful and full of blessings and so super amazing the kind of relationship that other people are jealous of but you just it's quite possible that you have different ideas on um, how to do that so come to a compromise if possible because you're definitely going to get there either way but it'll be less struggle if you can figure that out um what else for couples? The Magician. So this is an awesome card. This is new ideas about the relationship. Um, this is totally Law of Attraction. This is about, um, how do I describe this? This is about thinking about what you want from your relationship. What does a beautiful, wonderful relationship look like to you? What will make you happy, okay? But remember this card here, the relationship card. Like, is this person the kind of person that serves my highest good? And how do they do that? What do I want to learn from this person? What do I want to um, have more of from this relationship? Like, what are the things that are really great? Let me express some gratitude for that to them and also to the divine. But then this is also about that surrender, needing to release your... Um, need to control other people. So this is um, not using the law of attraction to control other people, to get them to bend to your will, to cater to everything that you would ever want or desire, but to focus more in broad stroke general terms. Like, I want our relationship to be full of love and happiness and joy and excitement and then those things come to pass. Does that make sense? Without painting a very specific picture about what you want because we cannot control others and maybe that's not what they want. Maybe they're not aligned in the same way whereas you both want joy and love and happiness. Maybe we just need to let God, the angels, the law, spirit guides kind of work that out for us. Make sense? What else for couples? Um... Communicating, communicating about this, having new ideas about the relationship, having um, good conversations about the relationship. But, like, I mean, sometimes swords are really scary because they're super powerful, right? Um, <clears throat> but everything that I see for couples this month is really positive. It's just talks and communication about where the relationship is heading and where it's going. But I think it's really going somewhere beautiful. So... I hope that you all have a very wonderful end of October and um, halfway through November if you'd like a personal reading to help sort out some of this stuff. I am always honored to do that for you. Um, the contact information is in the description box below as are links to Snapchat, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. One more last little number reading here. And it just says that, you know, because we have so many cards about intuition. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Sorry. I apologize. Woo. We have so many cards about intuition. And um, this says that you're working really, really closely with um, some of the ascended masters, whether you realize it or not, like just in your prayers and your thoughts. So that could be Moses, Jesus, um, any of the saints, anything like that. And so this message is just saying, you know, look, we are trying to answer your prayers. We love you. We want to encourage you to stay positive so that we can help manifest this. Like we have to co-create our existence, like bringing... Um, our desires into focus and into reality with the law of attraction. So we have to um, put our thoughts out there, but then we also need to take steps towards those, and then they work in the background and kind of just like push it along. Okay? So love and light. Be patient as you wait for those wonderful outcomes to come with the help of, of your spirit world around you. Love and light. And last, you um, tomorrow, actually, for the daily cards. Bye.